हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू वन मोर न्यू वीडियो ऑफ लर्न इट एंड विदाउट वेस्टिंग मोर ऑफ योर टाइम लेट गेट स्टार्टेड सो नाउ टुडे विल बी टेकिंग फिजिकल एजुकेशन टॉपिक टू द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज फिजिकल फिटनेस वेलनेस एंड लाइफ स्टाइल सो बिफोर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड लेट मी गिव यू ए स्मॉल रीकेप ऑफ वॉट वी हैव स्टडीड इन द अर्लियर वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट द फिजिकल फिटनेस वेलनेस लाइफ स्टाइल डेफिनेशन we have studied about the importance of physical fitness and there were eight points in it we have already learned about the importance of wellness and about the healthy lifestyle so without wasting more time we'll be going to the next topic which is about the components of the physical fitness now what does this component of physical fitness means for the development or the overall development of the fitness of an individual it is very necessary to know that different kinds of fitness required for specific programs are in different methods which means physical fitness is divided into three main categories or the areas the first is about the skill related fitness the second is about health related fitness and third is about the cosmetic related fitness we'll be talking detail about all these three categories in detail in our next segments so let us move to the first segment which is about the skill related fitness now what do you mean by skill it is the ability to do something well which means if you are having expertise in any of the work it is counted in our skill section so now let us study the first point it is important in the performance of a specific functional motor task which means in specific tasks the second is about the it is important in sports performance and in certain kinds of job performances that require a special physical skill and strength to do it the last will be about if we are able to carry out the special skills that are a necessary part of a certain sports or activity that you are doing that can help in becoming physically fit involving one or more part of a skill related fitness it is more functional and specific so when we are talking about skill related fitness it is related to a specific function and if we are able to do that specific function in a very good manner or in a very expertise manner it is counted as an skill related fitness so now let us move to the next segment which is about the health related fitness it is very important for an individual to be physically fit and healthy and it is one of the major issues or agendas in respect to the national public health care now if a person is healthy it helps in the prevention and remediation of diseases and illness both in state of physical and as well as mental it applies to everyone and is a general concept each should achieve and maintain certain level of health fitness to stay as healthy as possible throughout a lifetime and to improve the quality of life so now let us talk about the cosmetic related fitness so now what does the cosmetic related fitness means for many people looking good is a very important outcome of physical activities many of the person just do this kind of fitness related things just to look good like yoga will make you fit and your body lean so this is the major cause for the cosmetic related fitness so now let us talk about the second point a looking fit is in and looking strong is a very important part of looking fit this is true for both men and women cosmetic fitness is fine as long as it takes place in an educational environment where acceptance of different body shape is the norm of the criteria so whenever we are taking certain things into considerations such as the looks and the body fitness then only the cosmetic related fitness will come into existence so now let us talk about the components of the physical fitness now it comprises of five components or the physical fitness comprises of the five components and it is also called as 5s now let me tell you about the five different components on the first portion it is about the strength the second is about the endurance the third is about the speed the fourth is about the flexibility and the fifth will be about the coordinative abilities so let me tell you about the first thing which is about the strength i'll give you different kinds of definitions also about the strength so that you can easily understand what is the basic meaning of the strength 
now let me define strength it is the ability to overcome resistance the second definition is the quality of state of being physically strong and the third definition is about the capacity of an object or substance to withstand great force or pressure these are the three definitions about the strength now the strength has been divided into two categories it is first is known as dynamic strength or also called as isotonic strength the second one is known as static strength which is also called as isometric strength now dynamic strength what is the basic meaning is that it has the ability to act against maximum strength or ability to overcome resistance with high speed the second one is about the static strength and what does it means it is the ability to be fit for normal days work so it was the topic which count strength as its first point which is the first component of the physical fitness now let us talk about the second point which is about the endurance it is the ability to resist fatigue now what do you mean by fatigue it is a term used to describe an overall feeling of tiredness or the lack of energy now let me tell you some more definitions about the endurance it is the capacity of something to last or to withstand wear and tear and it is the ability of an organism to exert itself and remain active for a longer period of time now this endurance has been divided into two categories one is known as the short term endurance and the second one is known as the long term endurance so now let me distinguish between the short term endurance and the long term endurance the first is the short term endurance this component of endurance is helpful to perform activity for a longer duration with speed this is the endurance where the aerobic anaerobic type of activity is done when the intensity or speed is very high this endurance is for shortest duration and also known as muscular endurance as activity is performed in absence of oxygen with the help of stored energy in the muscle in the form of glycogen now let me tell you about the long term this kind of endurance is helpful when the activity is done for longer duration and the intensity or speed is slower it is in fact the combination of circulatory circulatory with respiratory system which provides continuous energy for workout in other words this type of activity or of are of aerobic nature and the speed is slow so now let us move to the next point which is about the speed it is the ability to move body as fast as possible it is basically the reaction time to respond immediately after the stimulus has been begun it is useful in doing two two things it is acceleration to reach the maximum speed and the speed movement quickness to complete certain kinds of action so it has been divided into two categories next point is about the flexibility it is basically the range of movements of joints it has been divided into two categories one is about the passive ability and second one is active ability let me tell you about the passive ability the ability to do movement with greater distance with external help when we are doing or when we are taking any of the external help it comes under the passive ability now what do you mean by active ability it is the ability to do movement with longer distance without any kind of external help this kind of activity comes under active ability now this active ability has been divided into two parts one is the static flexibility and second one is dynamic flexibility static flexibility required is required when sports person remain in static position or in standing position or he is not moving from one place to another this kind of flexibility is known as static flexibility the second one is about the dynamic flexibility it is required for longer move movement for greater distance during motion which means when they are moving from one place to another and they are showing greater movement of their joints it comes under dynamic flexibility now we had moved to the last ability which is also known as the coordinative ability now what does it means it is the ability to do various activity and coordinate between them it is called as coordinative ability abilities of an individual to do various relative activities properly and efficiently it comes under the coordinative abilities 
now i'll be moving to the next segment which is about the components of the wellness so there are different kinds of components of wellness also we'll start with the first which is the social wellness it is the ability to interact with different kind of people it comes under social wellness the second is spiritual wellness which means the meaning and direction which provides us to a simple life or which provides meaning and direction to our life comes under spiritual wellness the third one is physical wellness which is the ability to carry out the daily task very efficiently it comes under physical fit wellness the next is environmental wellness it means the ability to promote health measures that improve the standard of a living of an individual it comes under environmental wellness the next is occupational wellness which means when we have make when we have made some of the balance between the work and the some of the leisure time it comes under occupational wellness the next is about the intellectual wellness it is the ability to learn and use information very effectively and efficiently it comes comes under intellectual wellness the last one will be about the emotional wellness it is the ability to control the emotions appropriately at certain amount of time in the last section it is showing us about the components of the health related fitness now it has been divided into five categories and you already know about all of these the components of health related physical fitness is about the body composition the second is about the cardio and respiratory endurance how does this cardio and respiration do along with each other and then it will be flexibility how does the body parts move next is muscular endurance how the energy has been used by the muscles and last one will be the muscular and strength so these are some of the five important points when we are talking about the health related fitness and these are the component of it i hope you might have understood these topics very well if not i urge all of you to again repeat the video and watch it again you can also note this topic down as your notes so that you don't have to refer the books we at learn it are working hard to bring you all the easy and simple learning materials which can enhance your learning and listening capabilities if you are finding hard to understand any of the topic or want to know something in detail you can comment your questions down below in the comment section if you like our work please give it a thumbs up and if you want to get updated of our new videos do subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you don't miss any updates from the channel for more of such kind of updates stay tuned to the channel stay healthy stay safe and fit bye bye